Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo All-in-One 300-23 IFC. So today I'm going to show you how to open this app, get into the hard drive, heat sink, and to the motherboard, and I will show you all the specification and how to clean up the actual heat sink and stuff like that. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to show you the exact model number. So that's the actual model number, as you can see. So this is quite straightforward, but remember, uh, this is quite bulky size, so you have to be careful. Keep it in the solid and flat surface and take out any sort of external USB which is connected to this computer. That's the front of it and that's the back, all right? And we're going to open up from the back. So first I'm going to remove anything that connected to this all-in-one PC. And this bottom buckle is going to come off like that from top to bottom. So take a flat opening tool and just sponge it like that and it should come out. Remember, this one doesn't have any screws, so don't get yourself confused by searching for the screws. There are two buckles, two knobs underneath, one in the left, another one in the right. So it's going to come off like that. Okay, once it's done, then we're going to put it upside down. In the flat surface but remember uh, this machine the front skin panel is very soft like actual so make sure nothing underneath when you put it upside down and then we'll remove the four screws from the handle I mean the stand and then we can get access into the hard drive which is 3.5 inch SATA one and then we'll try to take out the back cover by removing the DVD drive front shelf. Uh, let me show you one by one.
So let's check the actual motherboard because a lot of people leave same question. So this one doesn't have M.2 and the interfaces are as you can see the charging port RJ45 dual HDMI and 3 USB 2.0 and also it takes dual channel uh, DDR3 okay and as you can see the heatsink is quite good one and a lot of flex connector right there but there are not too many options for upgrading you know uh, especially the M.2 or NVMe SSD so we're gonna disconnect one by one and we'll get into the each sink and we'll clean it up so let's take out the four screws first which will secure the actual heatsink top of the processor